Hi, I'm Holly Landry, the Chief Data Officer at Maersk and your co-chair for the Pride Network. And today we're celebrating the International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia, and Transphobia, or Idaho, but you know we love acronyms in tech. So this day was really created to highlight the ongoing violence, discrimination, and regression that LGBTQ people experience all over the world. And it's celebrated in over 130 countries. It was designed to increase awareness and unite people. And of course, at Maersk, we stand for inclusion all the way. Earlier, we heard why inclusion is important. Then the next question is, how are leaders improving inclusion in their organization? Let's hear back from our MERS leaders. I think there is a big opportunity for all of us to make sure, first of all, that we have a lot of diversity in our team, but after that, that we really invest ourselves uh, as leaders to really bring uh, that diversity forward. We can't just wait for things to happen. We have an active role to play in soliciting opinions, making sure people get heard, making sure they also get time to say uh, and, and contribute into, uh, into the conversation. And for me, every day it starts with role modeling that, coming to work and making sure we're thinking about our team in totality with all their points of view. It's about creating a servant leadership culture where the leaders are in service of our teams. So these are some of the very basic things we're doing to create a more inclusive culture within the technology organization. I recognize that I need to listen and learn so I can become a role model showing real change. My organization is my ship and on board uh, we are a crew uh, with a mix of many different nationalities. So we uh, embrace and uh, celebrate diversity and openness every day on board. So really a couple of things we do uh, in our daily lives, not just on Idaho Bit Day, is to listen in order to create a sense of belonging for all of our employees. Listen to their stories, listen to the various folks that are out in the different countries where we're still seeing a lot of violence discrimination uh, against the LGBTQ communities, both at work and in their day-to-day -day lives. We can also share our own lessons and experience to really help empower people to perform the best that they can in the safe spaces, for example, at work and, and of course, in our in our day-to-day -day interaction. Appointing a champion and uh, working closely with them to execute the uh, DNA-related initiatives. By not discounting or dismissing any ideas and opinions, even those which at the beginning feels out of comfort zone or odd. Trying to be a role model of a sensitive and thoughtful ally. We're being very deliberate about this in the UK and Ireland, making sure that we are challenging bias, we are challenging the status quo, and we are really leaning on um, organisations or groups like our mix group um, to make sure that we are doing everything we can be to create that inclusive organisation. I promote openness and respect while celebrating differences. Everything starts uh, with example. So all leaders in the organization have to really understand that the inclusivity makes an conscious effort from all of us to really listen to everyone, to really make everyone understand that their opinions count. So that change, that transformation, is the example that actually is going to translate into a different culture in our organization and a culture of diversity and real inclusion. What we do in Maersk is we as leadership need to act as a role model. We need to walk the talk. We need to be sensitive and thoughtful when we interact with people. By active listening, what I really mean is listening to the people needs, we become very sensitive and we become inclusive. I do my very best to include different opinions and perspectives, meaning different people, in decision making. So as an example, our area business plan is not built by the leadership team only, it's built together with the wider organization. Most recently we had Nanika come and explain to us how we attract more female uh, talent into our group. And based on her feedback, we are actually going to rewrite a number of our job applications. I try to be a role model and encourage and coach my team to create an inclusive environment. At Hamburg Zoot, we celebrate openness and differences to improve inclusivity. 